Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. Dragon! Dragon! Good. Dragon! Good. <laughs> okay, we d we need to go to the street. That's for definite. That's a really generic uh, name for any place. Just hey, 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 look, it's it's just a street. Go to the street. Yes, that's that's an important place to visit. Guy. Okay, let's, we have to talk to this guy. Hey there, beggar. Hey, is that? Could it be? Is that? God damn it, Tony! You're, it's you again. <laughs> You're just voicing everyone here, aren't you? <laughs> I don't mind that, actually. <laughs> yes, I don't either, but still, I thought I'd make a joke out of it. But I'm already poor. Well, you've got a pointy hat. Uh, <laughs> that's not wealth, that's status. That's different from wealth. <laughs> oh, well, spare some status. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got that wrong. <laughs> How do you mean wrong? It's a simple request transaction. I underline a need. And hope that you, in your wisdom, will provide. I don't think status is what you need. Uh, voice acting, are you late It's with not it? a question of that, it's a question of oh, practicality. Status, by its very nature, is ineffable. As a quality, <laughs> it is essentially non-transferable. So are you going to give me status or aren't you? Yes, I dub you the poor <laughs> street man. give you status, you have to earn it. <laughs> For instance? Well, this is turning into an interesting discussion about uh, elitarianism <laughs> and the philosophy and all of that. Become the most and, uh, famous beggar in the city. Get wait. Some real diseases. Real oh, diseases? Right. Business is just down a bit. For what begging's a business? Oh, of course it is. Image. Don't you know that? There is there. They have their own. They have their own clockworks and uh, the, the, they had to. The, they had to. Uh, uh, they had the part-time hours yes. and full-time hours Many during days. specific uh, hours of the week and all that. Oh, Weekends are usually so off, and the salary is, uh, well, the Why salary is not very money? good, but it's a living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a traditional medieval street transaction, isn't it, Gov? Oh, he's here to add background it's color. It's part of your fantasy environment. <laughs> You're um, that you're he's not doing a good color. job, he's basically blending with the marble. Authenticity, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true, actually. He's, are you well, sure you're not be solid beggar? <laughs>uh, video clip all together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This needs to be done. I mean, a beggar, by definition, has to be pitiable, doesn't he? I mean, why should someone give him money if he's as hale and hearty as any other well, this this Well, this discussion is going oh. nowhere really fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I see what you mean, sir. You do. Right, well, carry on. Well, I hope by the logic that you do not see what we mean. What? Me pay you? Oh, go on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why what? Why should I give you money when you're no worse off than anybody else? Well, business is bad, but what can I do about it? Yeah, what can you, you do? about improving your image? Improve <laughs> my image? How? <laughs> We're going oh, to make you the biggest rock star in our corporate self-respect. <laughs> What, spend money on clothes and stuff? Um... <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's a beggar. <laughs> Alright, give us 30 shillings until payday then. <laughs> but you're a beggar. You don't get paid. <laughs> that's the point. That's point, exactly. We just run around in circles, rinse with. Right, you are then. Yes. Let's, let's leave so what, him. So, what, so what's the point again with this uh, beggar? All will become clear in the next act, my friend. Oh. Because okay, but what what were we going to do with this act in particular?
We're looking for things. Oh, this is this was important. We definitely need to do something about this. Diploma from the Academy of Barbering, Bloodletting, Leechery, <laughs> Tooth Pulling, and Associated Self Mutilations Academy. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is the barber sketch from Monty Python's Flying Circus, which turns into the lumberjack sketch, which turns into a protest letter sent to the BBC. <laughs> I hope it wasn't the last customer, considering this is your next customer here. This uh, I, never wanted, I never wanted to be a barber. All I wanted to be was a lumberjack. <laughs> oh, I just always wanted to be a lumberjack, I did. Yes. Yes. Still fails to create that relaxing atmosphere, though. Well, the chairs aren't comfy enough for that, man. Okay, let's talk. Bring let's out the, the comfy chair! chair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Monty Python sketch references. Why am I? Oh my gosh, I'm, I am oh, really forcing Monty Python into color. my Discworld today. <laughs> yes, because it's bound to happen because I think the creators of the game were fans of Monty Python. Is that a curler in your hair? Oh gee, you don't share. Of course it is. Just asking. I mean, you're in the barber. So it's uh, definitely a roller then. A roller, roller. What? In your hair, a hair roller. Well, of course it is. If it wasn't a roller, then why would it be there? Rinse wind. What are your uh, point? You wouldn't. Um. Um. What? What? You wouldn't say it's a bit, a bit, uh, unusual at all? Good heavens, no. This woman sounds oh, very posh. Oh, so mm -hmm. you're having I your think she sounds exactly like style. I think she does. Traditional? Traditional? With rollers and curls. Yes. Oh, yes, it should look very quaint. Quaint? <laughs> Well, it's the Middle Ages. I don't think there is a concept of traditional yet. Well, apparently. Don't be absurd. Well, the Middle Ages in an alien flat surface atop the backs of four elephants, which are riding a giant cosmic turtle. But Middle Ages, regardless. All right. The barber's having trouble. Oh, uh, oh, and it, well, he's a master barber. He's able to turn a hoge's into fluffy hair. Mm. Okay, that was a that was a reason. Hoagies. Yeah. Ah, ah, not 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 hoagies, ah hoagies. You know. Mmm, hoagies. Ah, I think we lost him, folks. Ah, <laughs> I think the medical and hair care profession still have a long way to go. I don't think you tend to mix them together. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the barber <laughs> we, because this is important. We talk. Hello to him. there. He's hmm? pink as oh, pink can hello. be. I suppose it's quite a sensuous sort so of So he's violent. Playing <laughs> women's hair all day. Oh, not really. Not with the type of women we get in here. Oh gosh, he's got the no most campiest locks, voice I've heard. No golden magic drifting beneath my scissors. Nothing like my wondrous little milk. Milk? Maid. <sighs> you pause between that. Oh no, he's having a bit of a facial fantasy. <laughs> okay, while he's distracted, let's uh, get into his pocket. Do, 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 do. We're pickpocketing him, by the way, folks, for this hair roller. Ooh. And suddenly we're playing Quest of Quest for Glory. Yes. <laughs> uh, by the way, I think this hair roller is one of the items needed for our dragon detector. I you think don't, it is. You, really? Really? Yep. It's important. Oh, oh I'm sure it will. I've never seen a <laughs> In some really ridiculous before. way, but then again, it's the disc world. Yes. What, what's uh, surreal is the norm. <laughs> Which makes it not surreal by definition. Okay, we have a fishmonger over here. Hey there, hey there, fishmonger. Ah, a subtle hint of rotting kelp and lethal bacteria upon the air. The distinctive name Melodious Hum of Flies. Say, by the way, I've been meaning to ask. Yeah. 
Uh, is this entire game taking place in Ankh-Mor Park, or do you get to visit other areas in the Discord? Oh world? yeah, you get to get out of Ankh-Mor Park, but that's not until Act Two, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have. Cabin. How many? How many acts are in this game? Uh, I'm trying to remember if it's three or four acts. This is not a short game, is it? Uh, no, it's, de it's definitely not short, my friend. It will take us a bit. Well then, well damn. I, I don't think the uh, the fishmonger is- Hey! Oh my gosh! It's a portrait of that bearded guy from Seven Max Hit the Road. <laughs> of which of which I cannot remember the name and I, I and it's a pity because it was such a funny joke. <laughs> I don't remember that name either. Even though even though I had no idea what the guy who the guy was supposed to be at the time. But the, the dead animals explain it to me. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. George Muir George Muir! That was a portrait of George so Muir. Oh the George famous... Muir. Yes, yeah, George Muir. Don't you know George Muir, the famous uh, nat nature guy, the nature boy? <laughs> George Muir, the nature boy. Well, George Muir. Ever get hard, at least Real life person that actually shot. existed, George Muir. <laughs> oh gosh. I, I know because he has a Wikipedia page. Ah. <laughs> Is this fish fresh? Is it fresh? Fresh? Not you again, Tony. Fresh? One of them just made a pass at my wife, sir. What? Oh gosh, uh, no, no, uh, I don't think we need to talk to you, but you are important for something later. Uh, we have a fair few things here. Is there anything in here in the, in the outhouse? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, graffiti. Voice. For a nice time, eat w well, drink happily, and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. Okay, I don't... Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Davar. Davar, yeah? no need to panic, no need to feel alone. I've got this. You... W wait, you, g you got what? John Muir was a Scottish-American naturalist, author and early advocate of preservation of wilderness in the United States. His letters, essays, and book telling of his, of his adventures in nature, especially in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California, have been read by millions. His activism helped to preserve the Yosemite Valley, Sequoia National Park, and other wilderness areas. The Sierra Club, which he founded, is a prominent American conservation organization. The 211 mile 340 kilometer John Muir Trail, a hiking trail in the Sierra Nevada, was named in his honor. Other such places include Muir, Muir Woods National Monument, uh, Muir Beach, John Muir College, Mount Muir, Camp Muir, and Muir Glacier, and of, and of course there is Mount, there is of course Mount Muir Moor, and also the Statue of Muir Liberty, and uh, the Muir, Muir Mountains, and so forth. And I just opened the Wikipedia page out of curiosity. <laughs> yeah. We, okay, so we solved the mystery. It was John Muir, definitely John Muir, not George Muir. As yeah, a... John Muir. John uh, Muir. So, uh, so the bar makes sense now considering the game. And so by the, the way, bar. Yeah. let's just say the bar. The more you know. <laughs> of course, let's just go with that. And by the way, this guy here was voiced by Tony Robinson as well. <laughs> is he make, is he trying to make all different voices, or he, he's not even trying? <laughs> he's playing different ways of delivering okay, so, the lines. Okay, okay. So at some point, the world of the disc has been taken over by a by a fairly, by a fairly popular TV celebrity in British. Blend. Yeah. <laughs> Lately, he's been involved in Time Team. He's more popular for that now. Basically, doing excavations of British landmarks. Okay. Oh, I get. Oh, okay. I bet he's going to excavate them himself with his trusty spade, like he used to do <laughs> with with his old job as as, as a feces as excavator in, in Black Adder. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! I'm never yeah, letting that thing go. Yeah. Okay, so can Can't we take these? Of modern toys. Okay, what is this toy? That doesn't. Uh, this toy. I think I think you need to pay for that, or yeah, there's something not? Not every day, a purple stuffed donkey kind of thing, I mean. <laughs> kind of thing, a bit. Well, it it does look Yoshi-ish. By the way, uh, that picture of John Muir, which is totally not a picture of John Muir, is there a frog portrayed in that? Nah, it's an octopus. 
Oh, so it is John Muir, after all. Uh, okay, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm being Special really mean. <laughs> Pretty Pony Home Abattoir set. Abattoir? Oh, no, I don't think it'll catch on. Uh, toy maker? Well, I'm surprised the toy maker didn't have any problems with us taking the string away. Okay, he's clearly too occupied uh, in building Pinocchio over there. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Let's... What an extraordinary person. Yes, he's... It, extraordinary is not the word I would use for him. Greetings, shopkeeper. Ge hey there, Geppetto. Good day, sir. I'm more considering Can Santa. Can you in our toys? Just no, no, not no, no, he's definitely no, definite Geppetto. An amusing line of Geppetto had, the, had Santa's beard before it was cool having ball. Santa's beard. And, I, and being Santa um, Claus in general. Um, wait, rip my face off. I don't think that's sure. therapeutic. The so, sort of thing <laughs> you can share with your brothers. With brothers? Brothers of evil. Walking Why are you speaking like a Russian? Tops of the world. Are or German? Right? He's dressed like he's dre he seems to be dressed like a yes. communi Never like a communist better. reject. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, just browsing. Yeah. Okay, I think he's I think browsing? he's supposed to be a, a Russian stereotype yes. of some description. The, dr the red dress, so the fact plotting? that he's making toys. No, no plots. No plots here. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> oh, damn. Why do you ask, sir? Browse away. <laughs> okay, so he's communist Geppetto Santa. Got it. <laughs> he's, he's, um, I think he's also... <laughs> I think he's also uh, uh, Papa Smurf in his free time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just paints himself blue <laughs> on weekends. A bit fruity for my taste. Uh, okay, let's. I know something we can do right now. Mhm. Mm that doesn't work. Are you trying oh. to combine? Oh wait, it is, it is attached to him now. Don't know why it didn't seem like it was attached to him. It's a worm with really? a string tied to its tail. Weird. Okay, so what are we going to do with this worm? He asked naively. We will, you will see soon. Uh, but that's what we need, though. We got a means to get a are hold. We are we going to try to fish something off the Ankh River? We, uh, nope. We're not gonna fish in the Ankh River. We are gonna do a form of fishing, though. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, I see what you're doing there. Yes, but we need to distract the alchemist. Mm. Can you mm. guess what I'm about to do, though? Hmm. Let me think. I'll give you uh, some time. Uh, do, 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 do. You're going to set something on fire? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to cause a fire of some description. Well, I... Well, that was... That was pretty much the only logical conclusion here, so... <laughs> By all means. But look at Rince when being all like unassuming. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much his entire out outlook, isn't it? Okay, grab the M. Come back here. Oh. Oh, this kind of complications, huh? Yeah. All right. Leave the camera alone. I like how he he tells us to leave the camera, but not the imp. Okay, so is he going to take over forever? Is this basically never going to stop? Yeah, he has no desire to talk to us. I'm gonna guess it's gonna go on for the entire act. Okay, so we got a mouse hole. Home to a common house mouse, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a house of mouse. Perhaps we best not pursue this any further. You know, house of mouse is the title we had in Europe for that one show, animated show in which Mickey Mouse and his friends were in a uh, nightclub. <laughs> yes, they're, they're on nightclub in Main Street, Hollywood. <laughs> so it was called House of Mouse. Yes. In Europe. So <laughs> okay, keep your eye on the end, my friend. Okay. Impress me. Impress Ooh. you. In oh, yes. I, I would have done that too. I, even though I... I wouldn't know that imps actually enjoyed the taste of worms. Yes, even I was called little blighters, these imps. I would try that regardless because, you know... Logic. Uh, 
well, not logic, but because well, we watch cartoons, so at least we know that worms usually are misinterpreted for bait. Wait. Even though, even though the common worm is not actually the typical bait that it's applied to the fishing practice. But hey, cartoon logic. Yeah, and something replied to us in that hole. I'm really? Yes, I'm going to leave. Uh, let's just get going. Uh, I believe we should, uh, let's see, shades, the park. Let's go there. Is there anything we need look how, the look, how, look how fast he's running to a park. He was really excited to go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> look, how, look how fast he runs. Keep up the grass. Oh. Uh, Actually, since they irrigate this stuff with river water, I'm surprised they even need the sign. <laughs> the stench should be enough to simply move you right along. <laughs> <laughs> like physically, literally moving you like a muscle-bound troll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have a bench here. Comfy. Oh, uh, okay. Let's sit on the comfy bench to ponder about the meaning of life. Uh, uh, life is life is like a chocolate box. Let's see. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> ah, lampus illuminatus. Lampus illuminatus. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, is this like I've taken an advanced course in lamp recognition? I have. Uh, uh, okay, took... okay, okay, I get it. The, uh, Ritz Win is uh, is a lamp reviewer. He's reviewing lamps like Nikara. <laughs> <laughs> He's reviewing lamps. <laughs> well, it's still a more popular channel than Sh Big Bang Theory Sheldon Cooper's YouTube channel of reviewing flags. I. <laughs> I am actually thankful that I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, I know the Big Bang Theory, but I don't know the specific reference. I stopped watching the show long ago. Mm, okay, is there anything else we need, anywhere else we need to go before the dragon decides to burn something down? We can't go to the palace yet because we haven't got an item we need from the Psychotricorist. The Psychotricorist? <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love, so I, that. I, I, love, I, love, I love those funny words. Okay, so nothing's important right now in this. How about this door? Can we get into this? This room sounds as if it's occupied. Is it occupied? It doesn't sound. Um, can you knock? No. Seems to be locked. Well, either that or it's just pretty wallpaper. Uh, uh, I, I, I have a feeling you already made this joke. Yeah, I would assume that the, that's a joke you've already made as well. Okay, so. I know the city gate is definitely not important yet, so let's go back to the square. Maybe this, we can see the the psycho tricker macaraker Rainer well, man. Well, well, Davar, I guess we're back to square one. Uh, you're not getting drums. Oh. Oh. Hey, there is a oh, there is a free seating. Down. No talking. Okay, so... If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Uh, what, madness uh, inf affects inf people? Infecting... Oh, okay then. I guess they have a long way to go in the, in the field of now, psychotherapy here. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the milkmaid. Are you him? Oh, the um, one from the one the barber mentioned. Yes, the one oh, the barber has facial fantasies about. <laughs> I suppose Fish I should come to expect fantasies. this kind of thing in my life. <laughs> so are you then? Um, man with a beard. The mighty wizard, Rincewind. The mighty oh, wizard, Rincewind. Well, I'm sure he wasn't a wizard. I think I remember him smelling a fish. You mean the fishmonger? <laughs> Who do you want to meet? Him, my beloved. My long lost paramour. Uh, I've the imp? Since I, was a child. <laughs> I have an imp if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Give me patience. <laughs> but it's all very traumatic. And romantic. I think. It's traumatic. <laughs> yes. Yes. Then go and see the psychotricorist. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, it's all in the craze these I days, you know. Yes, it's it's all the rage. So you're here for a bad minute. Yeah, see, it? it's all the rage. Well, no. we were drunk in the past, and we Why can't remember ask? last night in the past. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you have to find a way to title that, that episode like with, with, this <laughs> with referring to the time traveling line. It's, yeah. it's too rich. It's ridiculous. It's lovely. 
I don't want to talk about it. The uniform is not negotiable. Yeah, it's a nice dress, for me. <laughs> What's this about a beloved of yours? True love, is it? I last saw my true love in the Ram Top Mountains. I have no idea what that sign, is. You see, a sign that my life was to be spent in alpine pursuits. Alpine? And that's why I became a milkmaid. That's cute. Really? How um, fascinating. You know, I just have to wonder what does a milkmaid do exactly? Uh, she uh cleans milk. Um, I think the troll is looking worse for wear since the last time we were here. Uh, I'm sorry. What's Let me happened? See. I couldn't take it. Something. Not uh, something. are you the twin brother of that potty. troll bouncer from the, from the broken drum? I don't think he is. Okay, let's just say bye to him. This seems like a good I, I don't to want to sound racist, but they all look alike to me. Let's see, is there something I need to do? Because I'm trying to remember when... Hey, the fro use the frog. Are you him? Uh, no, I was trying to give you... So you're no. What's this? Um, okay. Ah no! I didn't want to talk to you. The entire dialogue all over again. Uh, maybe you could show you could show her the imp, and maybe the, he is the beloved if she was looking. No, yeah, no, no. Never mind. Uh, that would have been. Uh, that would have been reaching. That would have been humoring, uh, amusing. And it would have it would have totally reminded me of that one episode of the Tree House of Horror from The Simpsons, in which the leprechaun marries the gypsy. Is it everyone in the city has a decent desk? Remember that? You don't even have a desk, Rinswind. <laughs> Sorry, is that his, you know, reply to Rinswind there for a moment? All right. Uh... Okay. She says next now, I'm going to flip her desk on her, on her face. Uh, I can't believe this. I'm getting annoyed by being in a room, in a waiting room. This isn't supposed to happen in a video game. <laughs> uh, when, when you wait in the video game, you wait in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I can't take it. I'm I'm leaving. Uh, well, well, we need to do something else, I guess. I'm trying to figure this out. Unless there's, we actually are supposed to talk to everybody, but. That be but that can't be it. Hmm. Let's have to try again and. Can you? Can we? Uh, maybe you need to visit more places. Let me see. Let's check the city gates. Run, Rincewind! Run! But, okay, these guards are guarding the gate to beyond here. But there's really no point us being here. Obviously, the commander of the guards. Yes. Obviously, obviously. Because he has a bow and arrow. No, because he's older and is clearly not. Well, not doing anything. Wait, was it? Actually, now I think about it. Let me check the boxes. Oh, they're not clickable. I thought they might have been clickable, those boxes. Must be very good work being a guard, full of action every day. 